Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Wednesday, January 16. Procurement activities for the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project will begin by March of this year. That assurance comes from Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark, even as $1.7 billion of the project's funds have been reallocated for the remainder of the current financial year. According to Dr. Clark, this decision was made because those funds are primarily for the civil works component of the project, which is not expected to commence before the first quarter of the upcoming financial year. He says the remaining $490 million budgeted for the project is sufficient to cover the management fees and preliminary activities. Given how things are proceeding on the ground, we look and we say it is very unlikely for the civil works, which is where the bulk of the funds Hard and civil works, right, won't be disbursed. And as a result of that, it's as prudent to reallocate. We are now at the stage of fulfilling the final condition precedents, and we expect procurement in respect of that project to begin in this quarter, in fact, momentarily over the next few weeks, and thereafter for the project to proceed without any delay. Dr. Clark was responding to questions during Tuesday's meeting of the Standing Finance Committee of the House of Representatives. The committee was meeting to review the second supplementary estimates of expenditure for the 2018-2019 financial year, which reflects the reallocation. The national budget increases government spending from $791 billion to $802.5 billion for the fiscal year ending March. Meanwhile, Parliament has approved an additional $7.2 billion to complete roadworks under the Major Infrastructure Development Program, MIDP. The roads are to be completed in June of this year. They include Constant Spring and Hagley Park in the corporate area, as well as Ferris to Macfield in Westmoreland. Work is also far advanced on the Mandela Highway Improvement Project. At Tuesday's sitting of Parliament, Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark said the funds were being disbursed due to faster-than-planned execution of works on the corridors. The additional $7.2 billion in the second supplementary will enable the substantial completion of the Mandela Highway road improvement works, settlement of some land acquisition issues, and completion of all ancillary works, namely water supply, and sewage works being implemented on behalf of the National Water Commission and the major asphalt installation on the Constant Spring Road, Hagley Park Road and Ferris to Matfield corridors. Up to December 2018, works on the Constant Spring, Hagley Park and Ferris to Matfield thoroughfares were 41% complete. Mandela Highway is 88% complete. At the start of the 2018-2019 fiscal year, the state budgeted $12 billion for the roadworks, increasing the sum to $19 billion in the first supplementary budget. In other news, government is far advanced in the implementation of its program to reclaim eroded coastal areas, as it seeks to build resilience to disasters such as tsunamis. Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie says the coastal resilience aspect of the Coastal Reclamation Project will begin shortly. It's to be implemented by the Planning Institute of Jamaica under the Jamaica Adaptation Fund program. Minister McKenzie says the procurement process for engineering and related activities are well advanced. This U.S. $5 million project will, among other things, target coastline that runs along St. Mary and Portland and the construction of retaining wall and all the other necessary things that will help to shore up our coastline in these areas. The minister was speaking at Monday's launch of ODPEM's earthquake and tsunami awareness campaign under the theme, When an earthquake strikes, be bold, drop, cover and hold. Government will be disbursing additional funds to the Jamaica Fire Brigade this fiscal year. The Portfolio Minister says two new fireboats are being bought to serve Ocho Rios and Portland. The brigade will also be given 10 additional fire trucks before the end of the financial year. We are not only providing the trucks, but are also providing the personal equipment to the men and women of the Jamaica Fire Brigade. For the first time in the history of the Jamaica Fire Brigade, this administration, one go, 
has provided over 350 bunker gear to the Jamaica Fire Brigade. In this financial year only. And in the new financial year, we are providing an additional 300 more for the men and women of the Jamaica Fire Brigade. Minister McKenzie says firefighters will also receive two ambulances and medical training through a partnership with the Ministry of Health. And finally, persons using the services of the Land Administration and Management Program, LAMP, are being asked to visit their offices at 8 Arden Road in Kingston. The processing of LAMP-related matters from the Arden office began on Monday. It is in keeping with the merger of LAMP and the National Land Agency, first announced in Prime Minister Andrew Holness's contribution to the 2018-2019 budget debate last March. Persons seeking further information may contact the National Land Agency at 876-946-5263 or 876-750-5263. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching. <music>